Good morning. morning. From Cartagena, we have started our day off with a typical Colombian breakfast. So we've got two coffees and we have what is known as a pan de bono, which is made from cassava flour, eggs and cheese and apparently it is a Colombian speciality. So we are super excited to try this. And we hear that this place makes the best ones, so can't wait to try them. delicious breakfast and coffee. It is time to go and check out the city. We have a free walking tour as we usually do in new cities. So let's go check it out. The city of Cartagena, or Cartagena de Indias as it is officially known, is the fifth largest city in Colombia and has been used as a significant trading port and stronghold during its 6,000 year history. The area was initially inhabited around 4000 BC by indigenous tribes who settled in the area due to its relatively mild climate and abundant wildlife. When the Spanish first sighted the area in the early 1500s, they were met with fierce opposition from the indigenous peoples and were not able to settle on the land until 1533. As with many indigenous civilizations in this area, their numbers were diminished largely due to disease brought over from Europe, which allowed the Spanish to use the land as they saw fit. The Spanish brought in slaves from Africa to clear the land and build what would then become Cartagena de Indias. Due to its geographical position and the calm bay that surrounds the city, this was a great place for the Spanish to moor their ships. As such, the city was used to store goods from around the continent, such as gold, silver, tobacco, and sugarcane, for the purposes of trade. This abundance of riches led to multiple attacks from other European empires and pirates in an attempt to take it for themselves. As a result, the Spanish Empire spent the best part of 200 years fortifying the city with defensive walls spanning 11 kilometers to ensure that no one would be able to enter the city uninvited. During that time, a lot of other buildings, which still stand today, were also constructed and make up the picturesque old city. As part of the tour, we were shown some of the aforementioned walls as well as some of the city's most famous churches and squares. To finish, we walked through Park Centenario to reach the Getsemani neighborhood, which has undergone a transformation from being notorious for crime to becoming one of the most culturally significant parts of the city. We're heading back tomorrow for another free walking tour, so we look forward to sharing what we learn with you then. We've just finished up our walking tour and we ended up going around the old town as well as Getsemani. And the one thing that we have noticed about Cartagena so far is just how gorgeous the architecture is. 
the buildings are absolutely beautiful the colors are vibrant and i just can't get over how stunning this place is it is absolutely beautiful and i just feel so lucky and privileged that we're here but now we are going to try and experience a little bit more of Bundyan culture through its food That's good. I have been really, really looking forward to trying this ever since we even came up with the idea to come to Colombia in the first place. I've heard this from a number of my old workmates and friends back in Toronto who have Colombian heritage and they've all said that one of the things that they enjoy the most whenever they come to Colombia is anipos. And these things are made with maize and then they are stuff with basically whatever ingredients typically it's cheese but they can also throw in some extras so as you can see here i've gone for one that has some cheese in it as well as some ham and then i've got like this kind of little extra bit of potato chips and stuff and then that came with some tartar sauce and some pineapple sauce it all sounds wonderful and i'm so excited to try this so let's go is amazing it's absolutely packed with flavor the cheese i think is actually in the dough so that is basically a really big cheesy hit in every single bite and then that is cut through with the sweetness from the pineapple and some of the soundness from the tartar sauce and a little bit of saltiness as well honestly this is magnificent and for only 5,000 pesos a pop. It's absolutely magnificent. What a find. And Nick isn't the only one who's going to eat. I got one that just has cheese in it and Nick also got one with cheese and then the mandarin juice that we got cost 5,000 each as well. So we are going to thoroughly enjoy this feast for lunch. We just retraced our steps through the old city back to our accommodation and I still can't get over how incredibly beautiful this city is. It has to be one of my favorites. Normally I'm such a neutrals person, but the colorful combinations are what I wish I had the confidence to wear or have in my home because I think it all goes together so beautifully. Absolutely. I think it just really adds to the whole atmosphere around here, which is that it's just such a vibrant city. And I think it just makes it a really exciting place to be. There's always something going on in a good way. And so, yeah, it's been a fantastic first full day here in Cartagena. And on top of that, the food. Mm -hmm. The food. Oh, great breakfast, amazing lunch. And this has just really made our start to Colombia such a good one. I'm really, really excited to see the rest of it. I'm excited for what tomorrow has in store, but the heat has absolutely taken it out of us today. I am so parched. I could basically go for every juice or ice cream in sight. So being back in the strong AC is so lovely and I cannot just wait to chill now. And that is our plan for the rest of the day, but we will definitely be catching up with you tomorrow. So until then, Take care. And keep smiling.